run, you got to be able to pedal a bike, and you got to be able to swim. You better be good at all three of them, just like all those triathletes that are participating this weekend in Cleveland. One of them, though, took a pretty unusual journey to the starting line. Lasimba Patilla is competing with many other athletes this weekend, but his story, pretty different. You see, it's not common that in a bike, run, and swim competition, an athlete would have just learned to swim a few years ago. But not everyone has a story like Patilla's. For him, his fear of swimming started in seventh grade. I just wanted to be hang out with my friends who were really good swimmers, and we had uh, like a swim test. We had to tread water. I had never tread water in my life, and but I wanted to be looked at as an athlete, even though I, at that time I had never played any organized sports. Um, so I tried, and I, I jumped in the water with everyone, and we had to tread water for four minutes. And instead of treading water like I know how to do now, I ran in place as fast as I could, in the middle of the pool, the deep end, um, full out sprint, going nowhere in the water, and it, it worked for two minutes. So I'm underwater, I'm drinking plenty of pool water, uh, I'm panicked all out. Um, a couple of my friends got me to a pole. Patilla was able to survive with a little help from his friends, but the memory of that day never left. In fact, it would be about 30 years before he actually learned to swim. Getting over that mental hurdle was the toughest part. That fear was something that I was ready for that challenge, that I wasn't going to turn my back on fear. I was going to face it, and we were going to fight. And that challenge was, wasn't going to end until I won. A lot of his motivation came from his two kids. I spent many days on beaches with my daughters, and we only let the water hit our feet because we we're all afraid to go deeper into the water. But over the past two years, we all go into the water. My youngest daughter, my, my oldest daughter, my wife, obviously myself, we go swimming, you know, and that's, uh, that's a huge plus in my life. That, that, gives me, that, that gives my heart a lot of good feeling that, you know what, I helped lead my daughters into a place that I wasn't fortunate enough to be led to um, when I was a young man. So it, it, uh, it, definitely, uh, it definitely helps drive. That makes me feel good to know that, you know what, my daughter's comfort will be swim now because their father got into the water and showed them that it's something that can be done. When you overcome that much, winning the triathlon isn't really the priority. It's about so much more. There's 60 year old guys here that are gonna beat me tomorrow, I guarantee you. I will beat me on Sunday, I guarantee you. But I'm good with that because I know they evolved over the years too to get to where they are. Your greatest competition is in the mirror. So when I compete on Sunday, I'm looking to beat that guy that competed last year. Just like I was looking to beat the guy last year that I competed against the year prior to that. Even though the 44-year-old has come so far, he understands that he is still a work in progress. I still fight fears when I'm in the water, when I'm next to people and someone bumps me, when someone kicks me. You know, there's still a, a, a sense of anxiety that happens. But I keep telling my, I'm committed. I tell myself something positive. I remind myself of the work I put into it. Uh, I can still hear my daughters and my wife voices. Three, 400 meters out into the water, so I just keep going.